Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're still talking about soldering because we have to talk more about it. It's just like always something to talk about when it comes to soldering. Today we will be talking about soldering blocks. What I'm using, what is on my desk, why I'm using. When it comes to soldering or making jewelry in general, I always tell that it's so important what kind of metal you're working with and what is the gauge even of it because it's really different when it comes to tools and equipment what you actually need maybe you're working on smaller gauges or bigger gauges so your tools would be a bit different and the reasoning why you're using some tools would be different too so i'm just giving you like universal thing because i love to make dainty and bold jewelry so i have really quite a variety of tools and i'm just giving you options here and showing the tools and equipment i'm working on and what is working for me because when it comes to jewelry making and tools it always depends on your preferences your comfortability to work with some kind of handle or tool or your strength even there are a lot of things and factors why people use different stuff because i use quite a lot and a lot of them is not working for me and for some jewelers it's just like gold and they're working and they're excited so when it comes to tools always take advice from a person who's doing maybe the same things as you do or you are willing to do but then that advice and tip would be way more useful for you okay let's talk about why we came here talking about soldering blocks i work with honeycomb blocks and honeycomb blocks looks like that i have quite yeah it's all messy i have quite a variety of them and i use this one not that much that's why it's not looking like these ones are looking like but they are holding really long time this one split because for this one's probably five years i'm doing jewelry so it's looking like that just because because i used it a lot but we still have that flat surface to work on it's not going anywhere which is important when you want to like solder flat pieces i even use it for my moldable third arm because if you want to use it you have to have a flat surface to work on and that it could stick on there are different soldering blocks we even have a wide big one without holes in the market so again flat he's spreading from under we use it with multiple base we can use different heights with it and manipulate with our designs maybe solder a bale and put it there i'm working with the spinning soldering pan which is full of small stones and i will talk about it i think in a separate video just to have that quick but just about it i almost forgot to say about honeycomb that you can use a sharpie and draw lines wherever you want and keep your piece in the center be aligned or something it's really useful stuff you know i really encourage you to experiment with your stuff you already have there are a lot of tips and tricks how to make jewelry and sometimes they work not all of them sadly but sometimes i really can adapt some tricks if I don't know about them from my experience. That's really nice to see when you can adapt some new information when it comes to soldering and yeah. The second soldering base is a charcoal block. Um, it's my favorite one to work on, but as I told you, it depends what I'm doing because if I need really flat, this one won't give me that. It comes like this but it's really quick when it becomes like this so we don't have any like flat surface anymore I have different sizes of it because uh, it splits from this one charcoal block i'm using for everything i love to work with it i'm always soldering on charcoal block if i can so i even cheat and sometimes i need flat surface to solder on but i'm still soldering on this one because for me it's the easiest option to work with it heats up pretty quickly it holds the heat 
So we are working all the time with warm base. This one heats up too, but it has holes so that heat is like coming out really quickly. And I just really love work with charcoal block and I'm making balls with charcoal block too. And when I'm soldering, usually I'm making small balls and picking that with my solder pick and solder it that way. So I really need my charcoal block for that. When it's new, it comes like this. But if you want to use it, you have to wrap it around with your wires. It splits pretty quickly from the heat, so you want to hold it with your wires for sure. Maybe I will film a video how I'm preparing my solder block, if it's interesting to you. And the third base I'm using when I'm soldering is wire mesh. For example, if you have bigger sheet and you want to solder small details on it, uh, you have to heat that sheet under first so mesh wire really helps this one is actually from my soldering device which i always don't know the name tripod i think it's tripod so i have this beautiful mesh and i'm just using that on my charcoal block or on my honeycomb I prefer charcoal block always with this. It just lifts your piece a bit more, but you're still having that hot charcoal under. So it's way better for me to use it that way than to use it with this one. But I saw how many people use this one and they're like really okay with that. So it's just about preference. But for me, I always love to put it on charcoal block just to have a small gap and just work under it works it works really nicely if you don't have this one you can wrap some wire it's basically just wrapped up stuff from a wire which sometimes you use wires if you want to like hold the piece better but about that we can talk on other video my hands are now dirty after that charcoal but you know jewelry world is always about dirty hands always trust me for me it's like usual stuff i hope you find it useful and can grab some information out of this and i hope you like it and i will see you in my next one